G'day and welcome to a happy Good Friday, Friday Beers and Tools with Andy, who loves a beer on a Friday. This week we have another boutique beer. This is a uh, beer from the Gold Coast uh, by a company called uh, Black Hops Brewery and this is their Goat Hazy IPA. Black, Black Hops Brewery was started out by uh, three mates uh, and uh, who like beer and decided that there was a, uh, a spot in the market for them. So they started making beer. Happy Good Friday. I do like a nice hazy pale ale, Indian pale ale, IPA. Um, what have they got to say about it? Uh, goat was first brewed as a small batch, specifically for the 2018 ABIA, that's Australian Institute Beer Awards, something like that. Uh, brewed with high expectations and named accordingly, the beer took out a gold medal and became a favourite amongst Black Ops drinkers. This juice bomb features the signature opaque appearance of the style, hazy, uh, paired with an explosion of tropical fruit flavours thanks to the generous addition of Mosaic, Amarillo and El Dorado hops. We've heard about them in quite a few beers now. It's a really nice IPA. Um, not too hoppy, uh, definitely a little bit more than some IPAs that I've, that I've had. Um, you can definitely get the tropical flavours there as well, but not overbearing. Uh, again, these beers are terrific with seafood and things like that, and even um, curries and things like that are brilliant. So a bit of Black Ops's history, uh, started by three mates, as I mentioned, on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia, uh, Dan, Eddie and Govs. Um, they were sitting around a pub uh, at Mount Tambourine in 2014 and talking about some ideas for beer. Uh, went, uh, went on from there and they now have a number of beers in their range which I look forward to, uh, to trying out. Uh, their, their first beer was actually a stout, which I'm not a big fan of, but I'll give it a go. Uh, and it's actually an eggnog stout, they call it eggnog stout. Uh, it's a great story, I'll put a link to the uh, to the website in the description of the video and uh, that's a nice beer. Well done boys. I look forward to trying out a few more of your beers. Okay, so uh, for a hazy IPA, what do I give the Black Hops Goat beer on my spanner rating? The more I drink it, the more I like it. Uh, that's a solid five out of five spanners for me. Um, that's a that's a terrific IPA, really nice. Okay, for this week's tool, we're going to go on a little bit of uh, on location, I guess you'd say, uh, due to the size of it. Uh, this week, I'm reviewing a purchase that I bought quite a while ago, um, but is still brand new in box. Um, this is the Fendi Fen Fifty. 50 litre, 2 horsepower, oil free air compressor. Um, I have a large industrial size compressor, uh, which I'll put a photo of up here. And that is a uh, 18 CFM, I think, for memory. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Uh, and it is loud, noisy, very efficient, works very well, uh, and very heavy great compressor for setting up into a workshop. Can't wait to get my workshop. Please have a look at my uh, my uh, dream shed that I'm building in Tasmania. Uh, I'll put a link up to it here. 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 Always fit. It's up that way. And uh, I'm actually going to build an enclosure outside to remove the, the sound outside. Yes, for my neighbours, I'll put some sound deadening around it to make sure it doesn't annoy you as well. They're, they're not that loud, but they are loud in a, in a workshop environment. So putting them outside is a great idea. Um, 
you will also know my um, uh, penchant for battery powered tools uh, replacing air tools uh, and that there is an amazing amount of tools now on the market that uh, that used to be done by air tools uh, and probably still is in big workshops uh, auto body repair and things like that um, but the compactness the portability and uh, uh, availability of battery powered tools has certainly taken over a lot of air tools. There's still an awful lot of air tools that are required on job sites, on renovation sites as I'm going to be doing in my house in Tasmania. Um, and the other thing was uh, I also want to set up a, an air breathing um, filtered of course, air breathing system for when I'm going to be painting uh, two-pack paint. Uh, so an oil-free uh, air compressor is particularly handy. Now there's a number of different styles that uh, builders specifically take on the job sites, portable ones, you've seen the little donut ones, again I'll put a picture of one up here. Uh, they're nice and portable, uh, a lot of air tools like air nailers etc don't take a lot of CFM um, but require a good air supply. That's a bit roundabout but you'll understand my meaning. High CFM tools such as sanders, um, spray painting, uh, they all require much larger volume capacity tools. I wanted something in between. I, I thought about getting the small donut type for having portability carrying around in the house when I'm doing the renovations etc. Um, but then I also thought having an oil free larger compressor but still portable would be handy for when I'm spray painting down the track um, because I can adapt a, an air supply mask for it. Uh, two pack paint is bad juju and anyone you see who's painting with just a normal respirator really needs the head red. It's really bad stuff. Uh, so anyway I came across uh, this Fen 50 model and it is quite a large tank. It's a 50 litre tank. Uh, I'll put a picture of it up here and we'll actually unbox it in a minute but I'll give you a few of its specs uh, now. In fact I probably will give you the specs and then I'll unbox it whilst I'm talking about the specs in the background. Alrighty, let's unbox it. I've been keeping it in the box because I have no need to use it uh, whilst I'm here in the Northern Territory. This will be used when I move to Tasmania. So let's see what's in the box. Some plastic wheels, some assembly required, a couple of suction cups for the front feet and a couple of uh, plastic axles for the wheels. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. Obviously I want to retain my box so that I can uh, put it all back together, protect it a bit for transport when we move to Tasmania in retirement. Okay, even though it doesn't have wheels on it, it does still uh, sit quite well. All right, let's take you off the... All right, so nice and compact unit. Uh, pressure gauge and reg already built on and amazingly has a fitting. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be putting some uh, considerable filtering system when I use it as a breathing air uh, unit, but for when I'm using it for... Um, uh, renovation work, uh, it will only need a small uh, water remover. It's even though it's an oilless compressor, it still will bring in air from the moisture from the air. Claim dB of 97, so it's probably a, not exactly quite quiet. We'll start her up in a sec. I forgot I still had beer left. Alright, so um, 
I won't change the sound on this uh, initially so you can hear how loud this is. I'll get a relative um, comparison. <laughs> So this is the Fendi branded Fen 50, 50 litre, two horsepower motor, oil free air compressor. That's a lot to talk about. Uh, this air compressor is, uh, is compact and versatile thanks to its 50 litre vertical tank. Probably overkill for most of what I want to do, but as I mentioned earlier, I want to be able to spray paint uh, and use an air supply for breathing. Um, this unit is ideal for all DIY applications. It's easy to transport and fitted with rubber feet for stability uh, when in use. There is a smaller version of it and I'll put a picture of that up here at the corner. Um, I think that is a, I can't remember how big that tank is. I'll put it up there anyway. Um, this unit has a max pressure of 145 PSI or 10 bar. Uh, the tank, as I mentioned, is 50 litres, so it's got a pretty good capacity for a portable portable tank uh, with a two horsepower single phase 240 volt motor. Uh, the air displacement is 240 litres per minute, which equates to a CFM of about 7.8 cubic feet per minute. Um, it weighs 22.2 kilos. Dimensions. It has dimensions of 370 millimeters by 330 millimeters by 880 millimeters tall. Has a 12 month warranty. I uh, purchased this from a large tool supplier in Darwin called Sydney Tools uh, and it retails at 229. Holy crap, that's loud. And that's only just reaching 100 PSI now. Well, um, I guess time will tell. I'm not actually going to use it for anything at the moment. I just wanted to uh, give it a run and um, see how bloody loud it is. It's actually louder than my big industrial size compressor out the front in the garage. Um, i kind of disappointed at how loud it is actually. Uh, I guess I can still sit it outside the house and run a hose in for while I'm doing renovation, but that is one loud portable compressor. Um, so let's get on to um, value for money. $229, it's pretty bloody cheap. Um, uh, so for a cheap compressor and probably even more so the 30 litre, did I need the, the 50 litre? No, the 30 litre would have done, uh, but the this one, 229, 30 litre at $189. I'd say that the 30 litre is probably a um, four and a half out of five for value, and this one's a four out of five for value. Functionality, well, it's pumped up to 110 PSI. Um, it seems pretty slow in doing it. Uh, I guess it's a bit hard to tell because I'm comparing it to my, um, my big three-piston, uh, three uh, three-cylinder uh, jobby. Um, and I guess it'll do exactly what I want it to, but I'm a bit disappointed at how slow it was. The sound, the sound level uh, is ridiculous. I, honestly, I needed uh, hearing protection during that to, um, to, yeah, it was too loud. Uh, so I think Fendi you got some work to do there. I guess maybe because it's not an oilless, uh, because it is an oilless compressor, it is louder than a Standard compressor, I don't know a lot about compressors, um, but that would be my assumption. So for functionality, um, I've got to knock some points off because of the loudness of it. Um, and, and, and like I said, it's, it seems fairly slow to me. You won't know until I actually start using tools with it. Uh, and of course, breathing, when I've got a breathing oxygen or breathing uh, air system, uh, you don't use a huge amount of volume that, with that either. Uh, Look, I'm only going to rate it a, a three beers out of five for functionality. 
uh, the noise of it is ridiculous. Um, I've had petrol generators that are heaps quieter than this. Uh, it's a compressor. Anyway, uh, it'll do what I want it to do. Um, uh, so I'm a bit disappointed from that perspective. Um, but still, um, it, it's not a huge amount of money. So it's not as if I've, you know, my big compressor cost me over $1,000. So this one at 229 I guess maybe I'm being a smidge harsh. But um, yeah, it's loud, really loud. Anyway, that's it for this week's uh, Frybat. I hope you enjoyed that, something a little bit different. Um, uh, look forward to uh, seeing you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything and it helps the channel out immensely. Cheers.